Hey everyone, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. All right, about four years ago to this day actually, I ordered these Amazon Fire tablets, put them on my wall and I keep them powered up all the time for my smart home and the smart home alarm system. So I want to kind of give you a quick overview of what I found out over that time as far as how well do these work, do they hold up, can you leave a Fire tablet on the wall all the time powered up and will it last so i did this in 2018 and like i said i literally ordered them uh on this day in 2018 and now it's 2022 so it's been four years exactly and i didn't know how long they were going to last for me since i do leave them powered up and leave them charged up all the time right now it's actually on but it is in its sleep mode which is actually not asleep it's actually awake but the screen is fully dimmed is how I have it set up. That allows me to wake it up very quickly without having any ads. So I just touch it and then it wakes up. And so then it shows here, um, you know, my, my screen here. Now I have other videos that go into the details of how I actually power this up as well as my setup here with action tiles and my uh, Samsung smart things, smart home. So you can check out my channel to see those videos. But what I wanted to point out here is, you know, a lot of people are getting into smart homes and a lot of them are starting to use tablets. Some people are using TVs, you know, obviously um, a lot of the Amazon, Alexa, the Google, you know, they're all trying to come out with their own hubs. But I haven't found anything actually as versatile as an Android tablet on the wall and Amazon makes the cheapest ones. So I went ahead and rolled the dice and bought this. And what I'll say is I've had a couple times when it slows down and it gets clunky and I restart it and it's fine, which is probably good practice in general. It probably takes me um, about a month to two months that I start to notice that. So I will manually restart it um, uh, every so often there to keep it active. But you can see, you know, it's not the most responsive um, but this is all I have to do to it. I just go up and down and I click on the buttons, you know, like I can click on the weather here and it makes the weather bigger and click on it again and it'll go back away. So it's certainly quick enough for what I have to use here. This specific one is a Fire HD 8 and like I said circa 2018. So I, I think that's seventh generation if I'm, if I'm right. Um, and it still works very well. It was like... 50 bucks on sale. I think the current HD8 is like 90 bucks regular, but you can often get them on sale on Prime Days, on um, you know um, Black Friday sales, that kind of stuff. So the other thing I was worried about is the battery itself, because if you know anything about lithium-ion batteries, they really don't like to be fully charged all the time. Uh, they probably would prefer something like 60 to 80 percent a full charge for their you know happy place you also don't want to leave them uh, fully discharged either so there's probably an app out there i haven't honestly looked to set the max charge at 80 percent i know a lot of cell phones nowadays are starting to have that option i think apple came out with that but um this one this stays at 100 percent. but i've had no issues with the battery um you know expanding our uh, not working and um, I've been kind of impressed actually that I haven't had any problems with it. It is fully powered here through a little tiny ribbon cable and um, like I said so it works and when they fail, if they fail, I have, I have two of these by the way so that's that's my uh, my use case is two of these doing the exact same thing all the time. So when or if it fails I will be buying another one of these and, and putting it up and um, and go from there now hopefully it'd be kind of cool if i got a, a bigger screen one at some point but this will suffice for now if you want to learn more about the setup how i have my smart home setup you can check out my channel i'll also put the links to some of those videos in the video description here below as well as links to the products that i've used here 
on my smart home so that um, you can copy it if you want to as well. All right, if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, go ahead and give it the like button and then think about subscribing to my channel if you wanna see more stuff like this. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, you feel free to put them uh, down below in the comment section. I do read those and I do try to answer them.